Since the Neolithic period, hundreds of generations have lived on Ukrainian lands and maintained a continuous process of handing down information, knowledge, traditions, mythology, languages and symbols. These information markers are specific to each nation and enable them to understand who they are and what they're here for. Information that passed down from the linea from parents to children and grandchildren was changed and expanded. Who were your great-grandparents? Do you remember them? To whom do we go in search of answers? Who stood on this land before us? Who will come tomorrow? What unites us? Is there a connection between us? Step by step, we will dive into the past holding onto the thread that transcends the ages. You can't treat iron just like an inanimate object. If you don't respect it, if you put yourself above iron, it is stronger than you. Any iron is stronger than you. Even though you're forging it, and even if you tie it into a knot, no. If you don't know how to forge, it will overpower you, no matter how physically strong you are. Some people say, yes, I can. But they didn't even last 10 minutes, not because they were weak, but because you need to understand where you forge it, how you forge it, where you should hit, and where it's best to live in alone. I don't think that smiths are superstitious, but there are certain things. A lot of them, in fact, as I said before, you can't throw various trash into the fire, can't step on an anvil, or sit down on it. It's like stepping on a bread. On this place, this surface is called the face. A smith's work is done. It brings him joy, brings him money. You should not sit on it or put your feet on it. Everything is allowed, but at the same time we limit everyone a bit. It's just an ordinary thing, a low door frame. Everyone entering the forge has already bowed down to us. It's such a small thing that no one notices it, but it is there. Everyone asks, why did you bow to us? Because you bowed to us first, and so we bowed to you. Even in the olden days, it was the case that any big wig, a landlord or someone else, he still bowed to the smithy when entering. There are no work rules in our smithy. Of course, there are certain duties that everyone performs. But everyone is free to achieve, to create something new. That is, if you want to try something, you go ahead and try. It isn't prohibited. Because if you place restrictions on a blacksmith, he just becomes a stamper. But a blacksmith makes, creates and has the right to put work to the side and say, and many do so, I can't do it, I just can't, my soul is not in it, I just can't do this and that's it. It can just sit there for three days, even for a week. Even if the customer calls and says, guys, everything is a go, everything's working. But we don't work because everyone understands that the hands just aren't doing it. So we just forge some sort of nail, roll up some thing of magic and hang it on a nail. It has no use, it just hangs there on a nail. But then he comes and does the work that got put off for a week in a single night. It had just piled up in that time. What I mean is, it's necessary to be able to put your soul into this work, to have the desire. It's difficult to just force yourself to do it for the money.
братство, ну, можливо, так. A brotherhood. You could say that. But this is a brotherhood of people you know. And there are various social networks today. They help fuel the brotherhood in our work. You see their works, and they inspire you to try something you've never done before. Вони тебе надихають щось спробувати, чого ти раніше не робив, ти бачиш це. You couldn't see that before because there was no internet. But now this is an impetus because smiths usually really measure themselves up against other smiths. З ковалями міряються силами. If you are a professional, you can evaluate the work of another person who is a professional just like you are. And it inspires you to change yourself, to try something new. This is why I feel support in this, because they are interesting works and they help to keep me in shape. Once you enter a smithy, it's difficult to leave. When you have been in the profession for a long time, you become attached to your team. I know a few hundred blacksmiths. Some are here today at this festival, and almost everyone knows each other. We communicate, share and advise one another. Someone invented something new. They tell each other and share it. We're all moving in this direction. There is no way to escape it now. We're trying to find some new images, new ideas, but it's not so easy. When an idea appears, it must grow within one's soul. If there is no understanding, no proper state of mind to make a certain product, then nothing will work. Душевного состояния изготовить какое-то изделие, то не получается. Ну приятное такое изделие. We have such an interesting product. I've had a sketch of it for about three years before the desire appeared, and I wanted to get working on this piece. Наш ежик взрослый идет на свет. There's an adult hedgehog going on a date with a chicken holding a bottle and a flower. Such interesting elements, details. They get bored. When we made a hand. Put in in a certain position, and it seemed to lack some sort of bracelet. When we made the ears, they were short of an earring. The ears seemed bare. And every work has little things like that which make it interesting. They should be considered. He has a nose made of stainless steel. It shines and draws attention. Stainless steel whiskers also shine. We didn't polish this stainless steel flower, but left its original reddish color. And this also makes the sculpture interesting. We have lots of craftsmen, great craftsmen. Ukrainian people are very industrious in general. They travel abroad, get praised everywhere, and they're hardworking. When they accept a job, they always see it through. And we also have lots of master smiths. Smiths and potters and carpenters. These people are real masters of their crafts, and we're diligent. The whole world knows that. We get invited for every job. We go like hotcakes, but we want to have this in our country, so that we'd be able to develop, so that they would respect us and travel here. We also hold two festivals a year. Had people not supported us coming to see a blacksmith for a whole day without interest, they wouldn't be here. We drive to see them, and people drive to see us. This is the core group that quickly became friends. There's the chance to swap some ideas and thoughts there. To smith together with more than just the three of us, like we're used to doing here and finding it convenient. We all know where everyone stands. The three of us can already work as smith on intuition alone. We can even walk with our eyes closed. But over there it's all different because people work differently. This is how our group was created. The core crew of Ukrainians, who now all travel together to perform abroad. Because you often need a team abroad, a team of professionals. They all come and prepare just as much over there. Займаюся литвом в землю, традиційне литво. 
My job is sand casting, the traditional casting method. We use so-called molding sand. This kind of casting, as far as we can date, is around 5,000 years old. That is, they found cast metal items and dated them to the time they were created using this casting method. This is what I'm doing now. The most important thing is to understand each other. This is my position. No matter how old you are, what status you have, no matter how you call it, the most important thing is who you are. Who is the person deep in your soul, that's right. Who you really are is the most important thing. Generally, you can easily tell who likes their craft, just look into their eyes. A spark appears when you start talking with such a person. And you see that, and this is the most important thing. Just be yourself, simply be a human being. To tame the elements, the way I see these words, is not entirely correct. To be partners, friends, communicate with them. This is more like it. To tame isn't an entirely correct statement. Because fire and water, just like all other elements, are a very powerful thing. One shouldn't even say such things. Because I believe in these forces, I treat them with great respect and attention. And even my thought process is a bit different from that of other people. I am friends with these elements. This is such a cunning thing, not just a word, friends. And for this I can manage to smith something, to cast something. And I'm thankful to these elements for that, for everything which works that way. But they can't be tamed. I pour my soul into every single thing I make, because it's always a long and painstaking process. Everything that's made by hand contains a person's soul, and this is pure positivity. I don't even work when I feel negative. When there's negativity in my head, I don't even bother working, because I know that nothing good would ever come of that. The elements of fire and water are such powerful things that they leave their impression on all this. If you burn your negativity into it, put such a seal on it, nothing good will come of that. That's the way I see it. So I make everything only with bright and positive thoughts. Absolutely every item, every single one. And that's why everything is made in a traditional way. Simply as a material, titanium is unique in the fact that it's just pointless to try working with titanium when you're in a bad mood. It just won't let you near, only with a good mood and great respect. After all, the high-purity argon I use begins to behave as if it contains oxygen. That is, it starts boiling and oxidizing. Titanium really likes to be treated seriously. That really is the case. I don't rule out the fact that any work requires complete dedication. And only after complete dedication is given does any reward come. We were on show in France. We showed our work to the French. They just couldn't stay away from us. They simply wouldn't leave us. And do I understand why? For the reason that this process is so complicated that a Frenchman cannot afford to take and spend so much time ruining his eyes by staring at a welding arc, burning his fingers. In other words, these are extremes for them. Our people are a little different. Ukrainians are very creative people. I love them so much. And I believe that any kind of work requires complete dedication. Любое дело, любое дело, оно требует полной самоотдачи. То есть 
much. Whatever you do, you need to treat your work with love. Sooner or later, this work will invariably bring you dividends. It won't necessarily be money, but it will certainly bow down to you. The main thing was that I felt like a person, a person who was needed for my family, for my friends, for the country. I only regret one thing, the fact that I didn't agree with Petro earlier and didn't come to the smithy. And now I tell children, if it isn't working for you, then drop it, find a different job. If it's not working out, then leave it, find a third one. Somewhere you'll find something. Every person has a talent somewhere in their soul. But you don't know it, you haven't discovered it. Once you discover it, you'll find happiness. I discovered it. It was Petro who helped me. And I am happy.